You know, and I think a lot of um, designers and future, you know, employees, when they send me their portfolio, whether it's, a lot of it's online now, and you're not really meeting the person. I always want to meet the person. But um, there has to be a relationship between their, you know, what they're doing and the company that they're going to. Like, for instance, like I would have, look at a portfolio of someone that's crazy about really decorative traditional florals well we don't do any decorative traditional florals and so there's no fit there and um, if that's what that person loves to do our company is not the right place to come to so the in doing research and understanding the company that you're going to be sub, sub, you know submitting a portfolio to there has to be a relationship with what they, their interests really are and the company you're going to. You just can't expect a company to hire you when there's absolutely no relationship um, with what their portfolio looks like. So research the company before you submit your, po you know, your portfolio first and understand the whole ethos of a company that you're gonna be interviewing with. Otherwise, it's just going to be, you know, a lesson in futility and frustration and, you know, and, and you start caving in on yourself as a student or a, a new employee and thinking that there's nothing good about you and, you know, that goes back to, you know, having a stable foundation so that you can do, adapt to things.